Here's a quick three-step process for how we control soft and hard edges in Blender without any need for modifiers. Step one, take your object and smooth every face. Step two is in the data tab of the properties window, we want to enable auto smooth and just make sure the angle is set to 180. Step three is go into edge select mode, select your edges. I'm going to alt right click this central edge loop there and then go control E and then mark sharp. Done. That's it. That's all you need. To set these edges to soft again, or really what we want to do is just clear sharp. So control E, clear sharp, and that basically removes them. I'm just going to undo that though with control Z. Toggling the auto smooth option will just toggle whether we're using these sharp edges or not. So what used to be done, or is often still done, is you would use the edge split modifier. So let's just switch off our auto smooth for a second, come over to the modifiers tab, add modifier, edge split modifier, and then we don't need the edge angle. We are using our sharp edges, and you can see now we've got our hard sharp edges around the equator there basically have come back. But the problem with this though, is that this can cause some confusion if you need to export with the exporter set to apply some modifiers. Uh, and you actually might not want to split the edges. So if we apply that, you'll see if we tab into edit mode and grab this edge, which literally splitting the mesh open. We could undo that, or we could just select everything with A and then press W and then remove doubles, which is here. And then if we just come back to our data tab and re-enable auto smooth, we're back where we were before in a modifier. The last thing I wanted to mention about the shading is that we can visualize our normals while in edit mode. So I'm going to tab into edit mode, bring up the properties sidebar with the N key, and let's just come down to the mesh display area. And you can see we have this normal section. The bit to do with this auto smoothing is this middle icon here. So if we just enable that and zoom in and take a look at these sharp edges here, which are basically split normals, we have these two pink lines jutting out from the surface, whereas everywhere else it's just one where it's smooth. If we disable that, we can see everything goes away. And if we enable it again, those lines come back. And that's just to do with this middle icon here. So if we have this auto smoothing disabled, it'll look like this middle icon isn't actually doing anything. So this is vertex per face normals display, and that's going to help us troubleshoot or visualize the mesh better if you ever find that you actually do need that. So if you're subscribed, you'll get more of these tips and tutorials coming soon, or you can get into more of a discussion with us here in the comments or on Facebook, for example. So this is AD Boros for CG Masters, and I'll catch you again soon.